In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to try out Windows 7 using Microsoft Virtual PC. So if you look in the in the magazine, you'll see that the things you need are Microsoft Virtual PC, which you can download from um, the Microsoft website. It's a free program. And here I've got my um, Windows 7 better ISO file sitting there. Um, so first of all, get Microsoft Virtual PC going. There it is, I've installed it in already. There's nothing difficult about installing it. It's just a normal install program. Um, and so I load it up and, and it gives me this, this wizard window um, to create the, the new virtual machine. Um, so just click next. Um, you want to create a virtual machine, next again. Um, you can call it whatever you like. You can call it Win Windows 7. Um, and now I'm gonna um, now I'm gonna select the amount of RAM that I want to be allocated for the virtual machine. Um, so the the recommended RAM is 128 megabytes, but this this machine that I'm using actually has three gigabytes of RAM. So I could quite easily allocate quite a lot more RAM to the virtual machine, um, and that will mean that Windows 7 will run a bit faster. So I'm gonna give one one you know, about, about one gig to um, Windows 7, and then Windows Vista will still have two gigs left over, so that'll be fine. Um, so I'm gonna create a new virtual hard disk because I don't have one set up already, and it's just calling it Windows 7 hard disk, so that's fine. Um, and that's it, that, that's everything that I need to, to tell the, the wizard, just how much RAM to use and just to give things a name. And now I'm gonna click finish. And it's done. So now I'm going to start up this virtual machine by double clicking. Um, and really this is just a, a pretend computer starting up in this box. Um, and then I'm gonna get it to boot Windows 7. Okay, so um, I'm gonna to go to CD, capture ISO image. Um, and it's on the desktop, there it is. And now I'm clicking action. Um, I'm gonna press reset. So it's now booting up off the, um, off the ISO, so it's kind of treating it like a drive. Um, and starting up Windows 7. So, so here we go, it's a, it's a really standard Windows installation. Um, so I'm just gonna select the right kind of English um, and just install now. So just click through these installation screens as you usually would. Um, I'm gonna use this um, advanced custom option. So there we have it. Once that's done, we've got Windows 7 running here inside this, this Microsoft Virtual PC window like that. So I've got Vista as normal and I've just got it kept in this box here. Um, that took quite a while actually, that took about an hour, but I decided not to record it all for you. Um, so I'm going to fill in, just fill in these boxes as you normally would. 
Now you can enter a password here, um, or, or not if you don't want to. And now um, you need to enter the product key. Um, you can get a product key from the URL which is in the magazine, um, just on the Windows 7 site. All you need to do is just say that you want one and enter your Windows Live ID or set one up if you don't have one already and it will just generate a product key for you um, to put in here. So that's, that's, not, that's not difficult. Okay, so I've just got my, um, my product key here in a notepad file that I've just got open in the background. So I'm just gonna copy it in from there. There we go. Just going to uncheck that for now. Okay, so you're just setting up um, just your your Windows updates. I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna use the recommended settings. And here's the uh, time zone. Um, so there we go, after another few minutes, um, we've got Windows 7 going inside Microsoft Virtual PC, there it is. If you have any trouble with, um, with Windows 7 the first time that it loads up, just try, um, just try closing down the virtual computer and starting it up again. Um, and when you just just by double clicking on this here, as you see, to start it up again, um, and then when it restarts, uh, you'll see a Windows Start screen, um, and and it should start up normally. Um, so so here you have it. It's running running here inside this this box. Um, some of the some of the most interesting features are, firstly, you've got um, the the gadget space is kind of the whole the whole desktop so you can put your gadgets anywhere um, and a feature I really like is um, is this snap windows snapping so say I have um, I've got one notepad here um, and I've got another one here and and I want to put them next to each other so that I can compare what's in both both um, windows so if I just move it over here you can see this this highlighted box appears and let go and it snaps like that, it snaps into position so you've instantly got them like that because that was something that was kind of annoying about Windows that you had to resize, you had to resize it and it's a really common function to want to do that um, so that's built in automatically to Windows 7 so that's good. Also down here you'll see this show desktop button just click that and go straight to the desktop and then click it again to go straight back to the way that you had things um, another really good user-friendly feature so there you have it, running uh, Windows 7 on a virtual PC is a really unscary way to try it out. Um, you don't need to install anything, you don't need to worry about messing something up on your computer's existing configuration, you're just trying it out in this, in this virtual computer here. Um, very easy.